most precious heirloom, passed down to each successive generation, yet no cotton gloves provided, no maintenance explanation. In your history, you've been misinterpreted, misappropriated by officious ministers who misunderstand that you are not theirs to own, but just on temporary loan, you've been bungled by the caretaker's clumsy hand. Frayed and clipped and hastily restitched, given new licks of paint and then later restripped, squeezed and squashed and twisted and bent, and yet you still shine, just as an iron bevan meant all those years ago, 5th July. 1948. Three golden rules still hold true. One, you don't discriminate. Your doors are open to everyone. As welcoming as an overdue embrace or the warmth of the morning sun after the long night. Two, at the point of access you're free, reminding us you're a service, not a commercial industry. And finally, you prioritise based on clinical need, not ability to pay. Here's no place for greed. Yours is surely not the boardroom for shareholders, but rather clinics and wards and corridors filled with sympathetic care holders and broad shoulders upon which this nation leans. Your empathy is constant and evergreen. Those blue flashing lights that still haunt my dreams when life fell apart, ripped at the seams, yet you cared and saved and gave me back a reason to live when life is cruel and takes and takes this is what you give and even when my father's journey reached its inevitable end you were there with your steadfast care as ever a tender friend to usher the dying to whatever comes next and for that and every kindness i'm forever in your debt from birth to death first gulps of air and final breath and everything in between, the broken bone, the ruptured spleen, the failing organs, the chest that's tight, ailments that elude description, you just don't feel right, the wheezing cough, the back that sore, both mind and body and so much more. And for every nurse and surgeon and doctor and porter that cares for every mother, father, son and daughter, we salute you. Yes, but more than that, your worth is more than a Thursday clap, certainly more than their one percent. For all you've sacrificed, what could possibly be a fitting recompense? Perhaps as a society, we have to get real. Realise that you're not just another institution, but a true ideal, a notion of compassionate treatment for the nation's health a salve for the nation's soul. To nurse back those who are lost or broken, can there be a more noble goal? You exemplar, you paragon, you reflection of this nation at its very best. Bevan's dream come true, that's you. Your National Health Service, beloved NHS.